Hey everybody, Healthy Prepper here with an adventurous trip to Walgreens. Yes, I decided to waddle into Walgreens and experience what others are experiencing, the joy and fabulousness of the Walgreens couponing for prepping experience. Well, okay, now I am extremely new at this and I was very nervous going in because um, I was always intimidated by their filler item need and other strange rules in their couponing. Like, I don't know, you can't have more, your total coupon value can't be more than what your stuff is or something like that. But anyway, and also, if you see a good deal for like the Colgates and you want to get four of them and you have four coupons and each one of these should kick out um, a register reward, which is like an ECB or an extra care bucket, CBS, you it will, if you buy four at once, it'll only kick you out one register reward. So you actually have to make four different transactions. So I kind of heard, and I'm, I'm still learning this, but I, this also same with the same thing with the reach. I had multiple coupons, and I had to do multiple transactions because of that, because I wanted to get multiple items. <sighs> so, okay. This is not my finest hour. <laughs> but I want to walk you through it because... I'm a total newbie at uh, Walgreens, and um, this is what happened. Okay. Uh, first of all, um, I decided to get, let me show you this in the, in the ad. I got the Walgreens ad. Good place to start. And they had this deal. It was get $5 in register rewards, and think extra care bucks in CBS terms, if you buy $20 worth or more of the participating products below. All right. Oh, there was additional items on page 13. I didn't even see that. Oh, rats. Okay. So, DiGiorno, uh, two for 10. So I could buy four pizzas, which I did, and that would give me $5 in extra care bucks back. And that kicked me out, I don't know, it worked out to three and change by the time it gave me the extra care buck back. Here it is. Here's the receipt. Uh, I've got three meat pizzas and one Supreme, totaling $20, and it cost $20 even because it was food, no tax, and it gave me $5 back. So 15 um, divided by 4 is 3 and change. Now ideally, like my ultimate pizza price would be $2.50. I don't like to pay more than $2.50 for a pizza. I don't know, it's just a thing I have. But um, and I can actually get them for $1.99 at um, Aldi without any coupons or anything. But... I've never really tried the DiGiorno and I've seen them a lot. I didn't have any coupons. I'm sure they're out there. You can probably get a better deal than that. But that was round one. I wanted to keep it clean and simple. And I have to admit, the guy at the front checkout was very kind. And I was actually what I would call sweeped by three, what I, I think they were managers, while I was in the store. Can I help you? Can I help you find anything? You can check out over at Cosmetics if you want. Um, and I had them help me find some items and everybody was extremely pleasant and helpful, but so that made this experience for me. And I was very honest. I said, I'm new to Walgreens. I usually comp uh, coupon at CVS and, um, I wanted to see what the reaction was. What were they going to look at me like, Ooh, you evil CVS person. You need to shop at Walgreens or, Hey, we want to seduce you over from CVS and show you how wonderful our store is. So I was, you know, I was on, I was like a little reporter. Okay, <laughs> so um, anyway, that was the first deal. Basic nuts and bolts, no coupons, and just a register reward. And this is what their register rewards look like, for those of you who haven't seen them. It kicks out of this little machine called a Catalina machine, and it has an expiration date on it. So make sure you keep an eye on that expiration date. This one's about, you know, oh, geez, more than two weeks away. Or just about two weeks, I would say. Um, so there we go. I'll go through a few of these if it gets really long. Sorry for the long videos. I will make a second video and cut it apart. All right, round two. Now I'm getting all fancy pants here. And uh, I think this is where I mess up. Ah, in all my glory. Okay, they had an ad for, they have this store brand called Nice. And um, they had Nice Olives, um, the black ones or the jarred green ones for 89 cents each, which is a pretty good deal on um, black olives. So I thought I'd get three of those. And it was right here. They have this little row of food coupons. Now, these are coupons that are actually in the insert. And at the time, I'm so green at Walgreens. I did not know if... Is that an, oh, sorry, folks. 
Um, <laughs> um, I didn't know if you have to rip them out or not. Well, apparently at this Walgreens, they have them all stapled to the, to the cash register up front, so he just has to scan them. I went up and asked, do I have to rip every one of these out and totally shred my paper? He said, no, we can, we can just scan them up here. So kind of know that, or double check in your Walgreens first um, that they can um, just scan these at the front. You don't have to tear up your paper. Some of these do have limits. This, for example, the mandarin oranges, uh, limit of three, uh, no uh, limit of six on the hunts, and limit of um, three on the tuna and beans. Okay, so there I am with my olives. All right, now, I did see they had a good deal on highlighters. These Papermate highlighters, which is a, you know, a name brand highlighter, um, 49 cents. That's really good. I mean, these highlighters are regularly, I don't know, um, like $3.29. So here it is in the ad. I'll show you. Okay, okay. Oh, turn the page. Sorry. Okay. There they go. Okay. Fill your desk for less. Here's the school supplies ad. And zooming in right here. We have 49 cent highlighters. These are, get a close look at that, the Papermate highlighters. There's six in the thing. They're 49 cents with card. You can get up to six. So that's pretty good. I got five. Oh no, it's a, I'm sorry, it's a six pack and there's no limit. So that's really good. If you have school kids, get these puppies. Um, I also saw, now this is uh, another school supply, which is a school double pack of the Elmer's glue stick for 49 cents, which was a very good deal. Um, they're regularly two forty nine dollars or something like that. They were, they were definitely more than that. But um, here you do have a limit of six. And again, it's this little outside coupon, which apparently you don't have to rip off. You just have to freaking remember it's a coupon on the outside when you check out, because if the guy doesn't scan it, you don't get the deal. And that's what happened to me. Okay. <laughs> So this is called learning hard knocks. Okay, olives, paper, um, mate, highlighters, and followed up by, I, got, I threw in a couple of glue sticks here. Now I did spread out my items because I know there's something about a filler item that I don't really understand, so I just thought I'd spread them out to make sure I had enough different things in each bucket that I would qualify. All right, next we do the reach toothbrush. Now notice this says total care, not crystal clean. Okay. So this very nice toothbrush, Reach Toothbrush, for 99 cents once you get all the deals off it. Let me show you the deal. It's, you know, a quality toothbrush. And it's, you know, I don't normally get these at CVS. I don't really see good deals on them over there. Okay, so here's the deal. With Register Rewards, um, they're normally, uh, oh, with the card, they're $2.99. You get a $2 Register Reward. Again, think extra care buck. And um, so it's like paying 99 cents. Um, with the card, they're $2.99, register reward, go to next person get, so you get a $2 register reward back, but there's $2 off, um, there's a printable coupon, I'm not sure if they're still active, but it was a t printable off a two pack for $2, or a printable internet coupon for a one pack off of $2, and uh, so I use the $2 one here. So let's see how that panned out. Of course, the coupon beeped, and I have been hearing on the internet that the coupon will beep, so the guy needs to like pull out the toothbrush and make sure it's not the crystal clean one, which it is excluded, it's the total care one. Okay, so let me just, does it say that here? Select varieties. But anyway, another, um, it, it says that on the tag that is on the, um, buy the toothbrushes, cannot use on the crystal clean one, but here, um, it doesn't say that. So that's kind of interesting. That's a little confusing for Walgreens shoppers. All right, but anyway. Oh no, I'm sorry, my, my bad. The exclusion of the crystal clean one was on the internet printable coupon and not in the Walgreens store. That's where you see the exclusion. So just remember that. I didn't actually see any crystal clean ones at all in the store. Okay, so going, okay, we got that. Now here, yes, I know, Healthy Prepper got herself some chocolate. Well, we had family over and they were hungry and you know, the supply went down. So, you know, my little chocolate meter went off and thought, oh, I better go get some. So these were 
I kind of like these deals at Walgreens. They're, they're actually the ones that got me in the store originally. They're a very simple deal. 49 cents a chocolate bar. That's a pretty good deal. Um, limit of six. Yes, I got six, um, but not in this transaction. Um, and it is on that, the sidebar of the paper. You don't apparently have to rip out that coupon, but you have to freaking remember to tell them. And I don't know if I did. Let me see. Yeah. Well, he remembered. Okay. So we're going to look at that on the receipt. Okay. The last thing in this deal was the Colgate. Now, there is a inner, um, um, insert coupon from this weekend's paper for a dollar off Colgate, and they had a deal. Let's see if I can find it quickly. There it is. Um, $2.99. If you have your card, it's, um, you'll, it will give you back $1.50 in register rewards, um, minus the Sunday coupon uh, for a dollar, makes it only 49 cents. And I think, you know, 50 cents or less for toothpaste or t uh, toothbrushes, that's a pretty good deal. So I used the coupon, and so this is how it all panned out. And let me just tell you, this, bless his soul, the guy was very patient, but um, he forgot to ring in some of the coupons that were stuck on the cash register wall, and the manager had to come by twice and vo void out the thing. So you really got to pay attention at the checkout at Walgreens, because, you know, if you're asleep, you do not get the deals. Okay, so here we go. The highlighters, um, two for 49 cents, that went well. Okay, at 98 cents. Regular price, 329, holy moly. Okay, Colgate, um, there's the toothpaste. Regular price, 419, got it for 299, but then down here, we see we got a dollar off, and I'm hoping that works out to, I got it for 49 cents, let's see. 299, rewards, oh, rewards savings, $1.20. Let me go back over here. Okay, dollar twenty. Oh, because I got the dollar fifty back from the register rewards, right? Okay, yeah. Thinking on my feet here, boy, am I fast? Okay, so Colgate, Colgate on the receipt, two ninety nine, discount the dollar, um, manufacturer coupon, and then kicking back. The dollar fifty register reward, which is expires on eight thirteen. Compliments of Colgate. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm going through this slow. I'm trying to learn as I go here. Um, Reach toothbrush. Okay, two ninety nine. All right. Do I see where I got my coupon off? I had a two dollar. Reach. I don't think I got it off. I think it should have been two dollars less off of that. Let's see. It's a dub. No, it's sorry. There it is. Yeah, coupon. Um, wait, manufacturer coupon. There it is. MFG coupon minus a dollar. So I did. Okay, good. So I got the coupon off the uh, reach, and um, that was it for that deal, right? Yeah. Okay. Next is oops, focus back over here. Oh, wait. The Elmer's glue, 298. Um, and I was supposed to get those for 49 cents each, but this is where I think you forgot to do the this is where I didn't scan the coupon at the cash register. So I ended up paying 298 for these two puppies. Well, they're going back and I'm just gonna return them and then rebuy them again at 49 cents. Okay. And so watch out for that. If it's one of those coupons that's on the sidebar of the Walgreens paper, you got to make sure that they scan that or they, if they happen to put them up at the front, that they scan that one there. So be hyper vigilant. Oh, this is, this is exhausting to do this all the time. Okay. Um, uh, where was I? Okay. Reach Elmer's glue, Nestle crunch two at a dollar nine or two for $2. A dollar Butterfinger, $2. Is that one of those too? Man, I think I got charged full price for everything. Yep. Yep, I didn't get that one either. Holy moly, I thought that bill was high. Oh, but in the fluster of it all, I don't think it panned out. All right. Learning here. All right. Then the olives, straight up deal, 
three at a um, store coupon, three for 89 cents. So that did work. Okay. Then the Colgate. Oh, those are my two coupons. Yes. So what turned out to be 970 really should have been a lot less. So tail between legs here, learning slowly, um, going back, I'm going to try a return and see how it goes goes. I really should go in the same guy as there, but I can't go right now. Darn it. All right. Okay. So my tip is my biggest tip. If I'm, I don't know if I'm qualified to have tips yet at Walgreens <laughs> is if you have any of these side coupons that you're planning on using for deals, make sure that they scan those or they scan them at the register because they're not going to auto automatically remember to do those which makes it a little trickier at Walgreens, I'm finding. Maybe you guys know some tips and tricks around this stuff. Anybody help me, please. Um, anyway, there it goes. I'm just going to do those. I've got a couple more transactions here. I might do on a different video because this is getting way too long. All right, folks. Happy and healthy prepping. I'm trying to learn here.